Our next topic is fish under the sea. This PD fish is my favorite fish. It hangs from a plastic string so it can hang in your window or wherever you want to put it. But it's, it's my favorite fish. And this is how you make this fish. You take CDs, one, actually two CDs, and that's the front. That's the body of your fish. Okay. Now, you're going to want your foam fins and your fin here and your mouth and your eye. So, you cut out, it kind of looks like a tree trunk that way, down like this, or you can turn it sideways and cut out like that, and that will be this part, your, your tail fin. Okay, now to create these fins, this one and this one, you take, these are foam by the way, pieces of foam, and you curve it like that. Just cut it straight on the bottom and curve up to a point. You can do it like that, or if you'd rather have fins like this, you can just do, it's almost like a, a leaf, only it's attached, and then you're going to put that on for your fins. So you can have fins like that, or you can have fins like this, depending on what you like. And you take it and you glue it on the back, your top fin and your bottom fin, and then your back fin. I use the hot glue gun for this because it works best for me. And then on the front, you've also taken a, a string of plastic or gimp or whatever type of string you want and put it a uh, hole in the top of your fin and you can hang it. It looks nice hanging in front of a window. Okay, now the mouth. Uh, that it looks like this, just like this, or like that. It was just sort of a, a hump. In fact, you can fold it over like that if you're making a pattern and just do a, looks like the letter U. It's quite easy to do. Or you can make a bigger mouth like this one. This is a tall mouth. You can put this mouth on. Like that. Well, you can put it on like that with a hot glue gun. And then a large googly eye. And there you have it. Now some people, we were short of CDs, so I just put one CD on, but act, the actual way to do it is to put a, glue a CD on the back as well. So you have one on the front with the eye and the mouth and the fins, and then you have another one on the back with the hot glue gun, and then it hangs. And it's really quite a nice fish. Our next fish is a spike fish, I call him. He has spikes all over him, and he's quite, uh, this is going to be the paper plate series. There's about four different fish that I make with the paper plate. This is the first one. This is called Spiky. Now, the first thing I do with it is I cut a V here, and that V, I turn it around, and it's the tail on the back. Okay, then I'm drawing lines down here, like this. You can just take your paper plate if you want to, and trace the lines of, like that, and there, if you don't know how to do but it's kind of easy, just from the top to the bottom and curve it a little bit. All right, now on these lines are where you're going to put your spikes, like this. Okay, you have these three cut spikes ready for the children, like this. They're just triangles of different colors. Now, if they're older children, they can do it themselves. And then you start placing your on your last your last line. So you have one, two, three lines. On the last line you just stick your triangles. And then on the next line you put your triangles so that the 
the spike goes in between the other two and you just keep doing that. Like that. And then you start on this one, on your last line there. Okay, once you've finished all of your spikes, you take a, a circle for the eye and then you put on a googly eye and there's your spike fish. Some of the children even painted them. If you want to paint them too, you can paint them with sponges or just a paintbrush, however you like. The children can create their own spike fish. Okay, that's the first in the line of paper plate fish. Okay. The next paper plate fish that we have is one of my favorites. It's called my Nemo fish. I call it Nemo because it's a clownfish like the movie Nemo and this is what it looks like when it's finished. But it's really easy to do. Again, when you cut the V here, you take that piece and turn it around and that gives you your tail. You staple that on. Okay, the first thing that you need to do after you've stapled that on is you take masking tape and you put one stripe, two stripes of masking tape so that they're about like that. See how and they've gone down here, there and there. So there's two pieces of masking tape on there. Then give the children their orange paint and let them go to it and they cover the whole thing. Now once, once it's dry, then you take these strips and you peel them off. You peel them off and that will give you your, your white here and then you have the orange there. Now if you want to make a black eye with a circle, you can or you can put on a a giant googly eye on it, that would be even nicer. But to get the black strips, what I did was I took a ruler and a marker that's run away on me. Okay, you just take your ruler and where you've taken off the strip, you put your your ruler right where the strip came off and you draw your black line down there. And then on the other side, where the strip came off, you draw another black line. And that gives you your, your Nemo fish with clownfish with your white stripes. But children enjoy making that one, and it always turns out so nicely. And the masking tape is, oh, I'd say an inch thick that you put on. Oh, you can also create, yeah, also another idea. If you're making a collage with just paint, in the summertime, you can take strips of masking tape and go across the paper, however you look, that way, crisscross, lines, and then once their, their picture has dried, you peel off the masking tape and you have a really neat design. So that can be used in other ways as well as an emo fish. This is my jellyfish. Okay, the circle. You've taken the bottom section off. You've cut across here. And then on the back, if you want to, you can glue the piece that you've taken off here over the back. But actually what the children did was they just, uh, one way is either using masking tape across or staple them across or just have them glue them on this side. And these are just pieces of tissue paper that have been cut in strips. Actually, these, this one, is streamers. Like the streamers that are decorating a shower, like a wedding shower or a baby shower, the hall. The streamers for hanging. This is a streamer one. Okay, now this part is created with bingo dabbers. You just take your bingo dabbers and they dab. And they make the circles all over it, however they like, whatever pattern they like. This one, they've added eyebrows to the eyes and a mouth and a nose. And this one, they've just had fun with the bingo dabbers and they haven't added anything else to it. But this is our jellyfish. And the children have fun with that. Plus it looks nice on the bulletin board. All right. And there's when we cut the, the section off, that's what it looked like.